sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm feeling that there could be some trust issues here. And it's causing confusion or or mixed feelings or um, kind of being stuck in your head. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. Yeah, so let's take a look and see what's going on. Now we have the hangman and the ten of swords for the present time. So the hangman is showing that you could be feeling like you're at a crossroads. One with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find that you're wanting to do something, but you're having no idea what it is or how to do it. So if that does happen, it's a sign that you probably should relax, stop, and look at ways that you might let go of attempts to control life, situations, maybe people or things. It also could be possible that there's an outdated attitude or maybe even a wish that you need to let go of any sacrifice that you make it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of so this is probably a thoughtful reflective time particularly if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interest by being willing to change so it's paired with the ten of swords now the ten of swords it's like i said it's showing that trust or it's a clear signal to be careful where you put your trust put it that way because when the 10 comes up in a re in relation to asking a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable it's a pretty clear answer of no but try to keep in mind whenever one door closes Another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. So basically, for the present time, Hangman and Ten of Swords, um, you could feel defeated or like you failed at something. Yeah, you could feel like something is ruined here. And it's leaving you to be probably like I said stuck in your head or confused and you need to let go of maybe the attempt to control someone a situation or something because it's causing you to feel defeated some type of rock ending bottom because you see this man he has these swords stabbed in his back and he's out Yeah, some, maybe you don't trust the situation and it's just causing you not to know what to think. Well, let's take a look at the rest of the reading and we'll clarify these two cards more. So, the person you're dealing with, they see you like the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Now, the Four of Pentacles, it can be about holding on to things, money, people, situations, then is longer, longer than is healthy or realistic. As you can see, this man, he has, he's on all fours. He has his hands and his feet on his pinnacles. So, it's unhealthy clinging. It's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in, a, in an unhealthy way. It points to anxiety and fear. Could be about money or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. So it's important to realize that being anxious and grasping it does not bring security. And this is how they see you. They, they see you doing, you're holding on too tightly. Um, very firm they see you're resistant to change they see you as this five of swords also uh, you see this man he's running around with these two swords 
Okay, he's got three more on the ground, just in case he needs them. So there's some mixed feelings here. Could be about life in general, or maybe about a few people in particular. So don't ignore these feelings, but it's going to be important for you not to feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. Because you could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as intimate relationships with friends and lovers. So you might want to think several times before you let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's all about picking your battles here. Because they see you with mixed feelings. And you could come at them really sharp with these two swords in your hand. So it's about conflict. They see you kind of ready to fight. Because you got mixed feelings. And because that's, because it's with the Four of Pentacles, the mixed feelings are probably causing you to do some unhealthy clinging or just being resistant or just being too firm. So they see you experiencing some anxiety. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. You see them like the King of Pentacles and the Hermit. The King of Pentacles, it speaks about success. When you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's cash, money, coins, finance, income. Success and money matters is King of Pentacles. So it could be a time that now it's really not the time to be a maverick. It's the time to follow the, the established way of doing things. So when it stands for actual person in your life, this person is a very masculine type. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. Just know that this is a man who you can trust in. You can believe and trust in absolutely. The King of Pentacles is a yes. So you see them like this. They, they're they secure, committed, or they want to secure and commit this connection with you. They could be really focused. Uh, or they want to put their focus on you. The King of Pentacles is a, like a good father, very stable. So they might want to stabilize this situation with you because they see you're going through something. Now, you also see them like the Hermit. The Hermit is a spiritual card and it could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, anything from a bank to an entire Christian church. You're probably in the frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house. Just to clear your head. That's what the hermit does. So, it could also be about trying really hard to do the right thing. But just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally, personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So, so you see them as wanting to clear their mind, get rid of some baggage, and you can see them as feeling that the connection is not a priority right now because they need to get their thinking back straight. They need to get rid of some baggage that's probably weighing them down. But you do feel like they want to focus on this connection and... Um, Probably make it more committed or more stable. But they have, they're going through something where they need to pull themselves back together too. Now, why it's happening? We got the chariot and it's with the ten of wands. The chariot is about a lot of energy. And this chariot goes really fast. Really fast. But it's directed. It's controlled. And it has a goal in mind. So, you're probably fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve. 
and what you're willing to do to make them come true. The chariot is about being determined and ambitious. Getting things done, testing, improving. You got what it takes. So it's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Just remember though, with a chariot, you're gonna have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. So basically, one of the reasons why it's happening is because something happened in this connection whereas something might have got out of control, something went too far, and it went too far too fast. Or you or your person could have been pressuring you or them. Someone could have been pressuring you that way to go too far too fast. And things might have got out of hand. Or maybe you guys just jumped into this connection, just jumped right in there. And things just went too far too fast. Something like that. Something just got out of hand. Mm. Now it's with the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is interesting. You see how this man, he's walking forward with his wands, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So you could feel as though you're carrying some type of heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you may find that part of the burden you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself. So the other reason why it's happening, because there's some difficulties here. It's a hard place in a relationship when you get the Ten of Wands. So, why don't we recap this reading because it's kind of all over the place, I know. But let's pull it together. So basically, for the present time, it looks like you could be confused or just at a crossroads. Maybe you need to let go of, let go of controlling a situation. Yeah, because your person, they see you as doing some unhealthy clinging. And it's causing um, you to have some mixed feelings, or maybe you had the mixed feelings and trust issues, which caused the unhealthy clinging. So it could go either way, but like I said, they see you, um, you, you could be ready to fight or pick a fight. And you're clinging on in an unhealthy way to something. Maybe something that caused you um, to feel defeated here with the Ten of Swords. Something in this connection caused you to feel like it was ruined. And then you were stuck in your head. You were confused. You didn't know, should you stay? Should you go? What should you do? And then you see them as wanting to... Um, fix it with the king of pentacles they want success they want to make this a successful connection or they want to um, probably secure this connection but you see that they need to um, straighten some things out themselves they got some things they need to deal with uh, which probably cause you to have these uh, mixed feelings and trust issues because they, it looks like they they probably needed to deal with some issues that they brought into this connection and it's it looks like it caused you to have some problems so they got baggage they realize they need to fix it get rid of the baggage that they brought into the connection because it's causing you a lot of confusion and trust issues 
and it looks like something got out of hand something went really fast with the chariot maybe you guys just like I said just jumped into this relationship or connection you jumped into it things went really far really fast and you, you find yourself at a difficult place it feels like a difficult it feels like a hard place in this feel like a hard place in a relationship something maybe something got out of control with the chariot here something happened that just went too fast and it just got out of hand and but you do see a person they they realize that they need to take care of some business they need to take care of something because it, it's caused you to have yeah it caused you conflict you're ready to fight now mm -hmm. you're ready to fight and you're doing some unhealthy clinging so this kind of sounds like a roller coaster ride yeah, so the good thing about it is that it looks like your person with this King of Pentacles here, they they want to stabilize it. Yeah, they want to stabilize this connection and bring it to a good place. They want to bring it to a healthy place because right now it looks like it's it's not really at a healthy place. You got the unhealthy clinging, you got the mixed feelings, you're ready to fight. You got trust issues with the sword stabbed in your back. You got the confusion with the hangman. Not knowing which way to go. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I say yes? Should I say no? You got this ten of wands. It feels like a burden. But your person. Seems like your person want to make it work. They know they got to handle their business. They got to get rid of some stuff. <laughs> So they're going into hermit mode to figure out how to do it because that's what the hermit does and then the king of pentacles is is beautiful if you want to stabilize and get this right so your person wants to work on it and fix whatever problem there is that you guys are having you guys are having you guys are having 